What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Recently, we heard about Samsung and Google's collaboration to integrate Google's nearby share into Quick Share, which is going to support the content sharing with nearby third-party Android devices. I did discuss with you guys about this feature recently and I did demonstrate how this feature works. And now we have already started receiving the updates for uh, the predecessors of the Galaxy S24 series. We have already got the update for Quick Share on the Galaxy S23 series as well as Galaxy S22 series. I'm sure some of the mid-range Galaxy phones also would have received this update. Uh, now, as you can see, this is the Galaxy S22 Ultra and I've got the same update on the Galaxy S23 Ultra. Now, as you can see on the top, this is a brand new logo of Quick Share, and the change log says by integrating Google Nearby Share, Quick Share supports content sharing with nearby third party Android devices, which means now we can send the files, documents uh, from Galaxy phones to any other uh, non Samsung Galaxy phones, any other Android phones through Quick Share itself. The files and documents will be directly sent through the Quick Share to the non Samsung phones using this feature. Now, what this means is we'll be able to share files uh, from the Samsung Galaxy phone phones to the non Samsung Galaxy phones through the quick share which will be received by the nearby share feature on the uh, non Samsung Galaxy phone. Now earlier we had both the quick share as well as nearby share on Samsung. Now they have removed the Samsung nearby share and provided the quick share which will be one single means to transfer the files to Samsung phones as well as non Samsung phones. Now it also says increased upload limit per file when creating QR codes and using share to contacts from 3 GB to 5 GB. Now this is very interesting. Samsung has increased increase the upload limit per file when creating QR codes. Uh, so earlier it was 3 GB, maximum 3 GB of files can be uploaded to Samsung Cloud and, uh, and we can create uh, the QR codes to share it with others. But now the upload limit has been increased, we will be able to share bigger files or multiple files up to 5 GB. Now let's go ahead and update this application and see how this works. Let's see whether we have got two different accounts for quick share and the uh, nearby share on the settings of uh, Samsung Galaxy phones. Now the app is updated. Let's go to settings, tap on connected devices. Now here on the top, we have got quick share. You can see the new logo here. I'll tap on quick share. Yes, we have got two different accounts here. As you can see, it says share with Galaxy devices. You need to be logged into Samsung account. The second option is share with non Galaxy devices. You need to make sure you have logged into uh, the Google account here. Now let's go ahead and see whether this feature is working or not. I have got a pixel device here. This is the pixel seven pro. What I'm going to do is I will select a few images inside the gallery and I'll tap on share. Now, for some reason, this Galaxy S22 Ultra is still showing me nearby share option, whereas in the case of S24 Ultra, it wasn't showing the nearby option here. It looks like still we have nearby option in this. It is supposed to be just the quick share. Now, let me tap on quick share and let's see whether it's going to sh uh, show my uh, Pixel phone or not. It's scanning nearby devices and it is not showing my Pixel phone here. Uh, let me make sure that the uh, Pixel phone has the nearby share enabled. Yes, the device visibility is enabled here. Let me tap on this. Uh, I have kept it to keep everyone mode on all the time and have selected everyone. Now, uh, this is enabled. Uh, despite enabling this, we do not see uh, the Google Pixel here on this phone. There is some issue here. There could be some bug or maybe Samsung has to update uh, the application on the S22 series or the S23 series as well because even on the S23 series, uh, I do not see this working. I did check this out on the S23 Ultra as well after updating the Quick Share. There will be three different updates that you get for Quick Share and its resources. Uh, once that is done, I did try it out on the, uh, the Galaxy S23 Ultra as well. It is not working there and I can still see uh, the uh, option of nearby share on the S23 Ultra as well as you can see here. Now let me demonstrate this on the S24 Ultra and show you whether this works or not. Here is the S24 Ultra. Now what I'm going to do is I will open the gallery and uh, select a few uh, images or videos here. I'll tap on share. Now here you can see on the sharing page it doesn't show nearby share option here. It is just quick share. I can tap on this and as you can see here it is showing me uh, uh, my pixel phone as well. I'll just tap on this. Now it's going to connect to this phone and share those files that I've selected. And there we go. We have got four files. Uh, it's automatically receiving the uh, uh, the files because I have already received the files from this phone multiple times and it trusts this device. So uh, we can directly tap on view downloads to go to the, those files uh, which we have just sent from the Galaxy S24 Ultra. Now it's working on the S24 Ultra or the S24 series. Uh, however, on the S22 and S23 series, uh, it's not currently working despite getting the update. Let's see, maybe in the future we, uh, it will start working. I will keep you guys posted about that. Now you try it out and let me know whether the nearby 
share is working on your phone if you do not have a non-samsung galaxy device at least let me know whether that nearby share option is showing up on the sharing menu or not that's about it that's all i want to share with you guys it's a great decision by samsung and google to integrate nearby share uh, with quick share because quick share is more powerful and it's uh, seamless it's faster and it has got some additional features compared to the uh, the nearby share option and having two different options nearby share and quick share both on a single phone on a samsung galaxy phone doesn't make any sense and the best part is now we can share the files and documents uh, from a Samsung phone to any other uh, non-Samsung phone seamlessly at the same speed we could transfer the data from the Samsung phone to another Samsung phone. That's about it. Thanks for watching. If you are someone who is interested in knowing your phone better, then you must subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit the like button if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salyan signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.